By most people who review books and write book chat, I was the happy hooker of literature. That lack of respect for her writing still rankles Erica Jong, who in 1973 became a sensation when she published an audacious novel called Fear of Flying. Her heroine, Isadora Wing, a writer like Jong herself, dared to think the same lusty thoughts as generations of male characters. You created the phrase that's gone down in history, and we're going to call it, what, the zipless F word. Or the ZF. <laughs> we call it the ZF on television. What is the ZF? The ZF is the fantasy that you see a really handsome stranger on a train. You wrap your arms around each other, clothes fly off as if by magic, and as Isadora says in Fear of Flying, and I have never had one. Now, how did that go from, and I have never had one, to, if the Erica Jongs of this world have their way, women everywhere will be hopping from bed to bed to bed to bed. Didn't nobody read the book? Good for you. <laughs> well, actually, more than 27 million people read the book. And now, more than 40 years later, okay. at age 73, she's back with fear of dying, this time about issues of vitality and mortality facing an aging former actress. I generally avoid temptation unless I can't resist it. As Joan told a rapt audience in suburban New Jersey, her heroine, Vanessa Wonderman, must cope with aging parents, an ailing husband, and her own intense sexual desire. Women were not allowed to have passion at 60. We were supposed to become grandmothers and retreat into serene sexlessness. Sex was for 20, 30, 40, even 50. Sex at 60 was an embarrassment. So in the sly nod to Jong's first book, Vanessa signs up for a sex website called zipless.com. Some of the scenes that you describe, both serious and hilariously funny in some mm -hmm. cases, made me say to myself, okay, Erica Jong has not lost it. <laughs> she can still do this. But, you know, early on when Vanessa is going to Zipless, she meets a parade of Meshuganas <laughs> that are so unbelievable. And your descriptions of them are fabulous. One of them um, wants to be her personal slave. He says he'll put rocks in her shoes and clean her toilets. And she says, this is not what I was looking for. This is my mother with my older sister five years before I was born. Her father founded a successful giftware business. It was an artistic and eccentric New York Jewish family. My parents were nudists, not officially, but around the house they never put clothes on. My mother was a wonderful painter, designer, sculptor. My father was then a songwriter and a pianist and a drummer. And he was in Jubilee, 1935, auditioned by Cole Porter, and he introduced the song, Begin the Begin. When they begin the begin, etc. And after two, two girls were born, the second being me, my mother said, Seymour, time to do something else. After college at Barnard, Erica Man Jong published two books of poetry. Then came Fear of Flying, so revolutionary that Mike Wallace and 60 Minutes took note. You know, what you're writing about what George Orwell calls the dirty handkerchief side of life. That is the subject for the novelist. If you throw out those things, if you throw out the smells, the tastes, you lose half of the texture of reality. Do you feel that today a woman writing about sex, bodily functions, all those taboos, is still treated differently than a man writing about the same subjects? Without a doubt. We're supposed to be non-physical creatures when we write. 
we don't pee, we don't have sex, we don't have sexual fantasies. How ridiculous. Jong has written lots more poetry, novels, and nonfiction, including a memoir called Fear of 50. She has a daughter, two grandchildren, and dwells high above Manhattan. We've been living here almost as long as we've been married. And when we first moved here, Ken's parents lived there. You see that penthouse? Right. Ken is family lawyer Ken Burroughs, Jong's husband of 26 years. They're each other's fourth, and they insist last spouses. What do you think made this one last? Laughter, <laughs> loyalty. We crack each other up. In one of our earliest dates, we were sitting in a restaurant, and Erica said, I'm frightened you're going to get angry if I write about you, and you're going to try and stop me from writing about you. And? I reached for a napkin, and I wrote out a general release, <laughs> giving Erica permission to write about me and agreeing on the same release that I would never interfere with her doing so. How do you like how she writes about you? I like how she writes about me or about anybody else. And Erica Jong plans to keep writing. There you go. Thank you. Though it's been four decades since she first made her mark. Fear of flying has become shorthand now in this country for when somebody's afraid to take, on, take a risk. Right. And that's what I always meant by it. It was a metaphor. It was a metaphor for sex. It was a metaphor for ambition. It was a metaphor for moving beyond limitations. And now, I look at the racks of books, and half of them say, how to become fearless. And I look at them and I think, hmm, I might have had something to do with that.